Regarding um, how to learn more about the different residential areas and how students make that choice, so um, just referencing back to what Renee said, um, there are multiple different neighborhoods on campus where we have our first year halls. So there's a lot of information about what makes each community unique, what the different rooms look like um, on the umass.edu slash living website. So you can go on and explore the different neighborhoods ahead of time. Um, and then students will fill out a housing preference application um, and rank order the different neighborhoods in their order of preference. And that application is going to open when orientation starts in June. It stays open throughout the entire orientation period and so it will close in mid-July after the last first year orientation session and then housing assignments runs um, all the different preference applications and starts to make assignments. So it doesn't matter when you pay your enrollment deposit and it doesn't matter when you come to orientation. Um, they have that application open for our whole period and then folks get assigned randomly like a lottery um, based on their preferences. We will also have the opportunity for folks to tour the different residential neighborhoods during orientation, but we know some of you will have been here for a visit in the fall, you're here today, you might not need to take another tour, so we don't require that at summer orientation, but we do have the option available for folks who haven't seen residence halls. And Carolyn, are there model rooms open today? Yes. Okay, so you also have the opportunity um, this afternoon to go out and look at some of the different residential neighborhoods um, while you're here today. We also like to remind people that every area of campus has really cool stuff. No matter where you're living on campus, each of the areas has different types of communities, has different places where you can get food, has different things just to sightsee on campus. So really, anywhere you go is going to have really neat perks. Yeah, and if you're having a tough time deciding between two, you know, we have these first year halls designated. So after your first year, everybody has to reapply. You don't get to stay in the same building. So you can always try a different area for your sophomore or junior year.